Okay, we're going to do the entire second part with hints. First part ends with cross hands. I shift my weight to my right leg. I rotate as much as I can. I sit down. I step to 45. This is important. A lot of people miss this. And as I do my quasi brush knee, I adjust my back foot. Wipe it down. Quasi grasp for its tail. Deflect. And push. Reach up. Turn my right foot. Come to cat. Diagonal single whip. One step. Doesn't make much difference. This one should be at a 45, two steps, and fist under elbow, and pointing forward. Stand up, half step back, and then push yourself down with your front foot into the seating position of repulse monkeys. And again, I'll talk about something else this time. As you come up here, look at the level of your front and back hand. Are they the same? As you step back again, look, are you in proper cat stance or are you in step? Four. And five. And as you come up, big step around, you end up at a 90 degree angle. As you shift your weight back, you adjust your right foot, and this is slanting flying. Stand up into cat and hold the ball. Step forward, this is called. Take a half step back and roll back into raise hands. Okay, adjust your foot a little bit so that you can do your shoulder strike. Yes. Start close wings, brush knee, half step, needle at the bottom of the C, okay. You let your hands circle in and you, you point forward at a 45 degree angle and then stretch down so you're stretching your spine. Now you keep that stretch all the way through here to here when you step forward and then you release it into step forward. Turning on my left heel, turn, setting my right foot so that when I chop a fist, I move into bow. Wipe it off. Cross step. Notice how close my cross step is to my body as we step up, parry, and punch. Twist step, grasp bird's tail. Single whip. Now, as we move into wave hands like clouds, I'm turning my left heel as I bring my arms around. This is the first iteration. Notice my hands, one palm is up, one palm is down. It comes across my body. We'll talk a bit about more of this when we do Qigong. Okay, I reach and then come across. You notice my hands stay directly above and below each other. Now, when I reach, I sit down. I don't sit down before or after I reach, but my Sitting down is a function of trying to reach. Okay, at the end of five iterations, press down. Lao Gong and Wai Lao Gong are aligned. Come to single whip. High head on a horse. If you notice, I'm in cat stance and my body is aligned, is parallel to the wall. I step to the 45, do a big scoop, come up to side cat, open crane, 
lifting pick. Set it down. Scoop. Side cat. Open crane. Lifting kick. Step back. Pivot on my right heel. Come up to cat. As I cross my hands, come up to crane. And heel pick. Then just set it down into broche knee. Twist step. Brush knee, twist step. This time, start making your fists as you step and punch down. Notice the angle of my body. It's no one, it's not like this. It's pretty much straight through my spine. Then you turn, pivot on the left heel, shift the weight, step toward the wall because you're now in both stance as you chop the fist. Come back, cat stance, cross step. Again, notice how close the cross step is. Step up, carry, and punch. Twist step, big scoop. Come to cat stance, green, heel kick. Set it down. Point to the center part of your arm. Heel stomp down. Roll into bow as you hit tiger at left. Open up. Point to the crease in your left arm. Heel down. Roll into bow as you hit tiger at right. Come back. Cat stance. Crane. Heel kick. Notice the position of my hands. Hands in lap. Set your foot down and strike ears. Press down. Come to cat. Arm and foot up into crane and heel kick. Then set it down. Rotate as much as you can. Then step around as much as you can. And then finally, this has to be at a 45 degree angle so that you can come to crane and kick toward the wall. Set your foot down, make cross step. Notice again how close the cross step is to my body. And punch. Wiping it off. Close the door. And down you. Into cross hands.